Joe from Joe Scrap Shack. Thank you for stopping by and I want to welcome you to my third video here in my scrapbook room tour. This here is my shelving units that I got from Ikea and I love this shelving unit. This house is pretty much all of my paper. Uh, as you can see I have a lot of different things on here. I couldn't even begin to tell you what's what in half of um, the different papers that I have because I have so many papers. Uh, but this here on the side, this is all of my 12 by 12 papers. This is just my cardstock, and this is where I go to just grab different color cardstock that I need. This is just generic cardstock. It's just different companies thrown all together. It's stuff from Walmart. It's uh, you know different sheets that I would pick up single sheets at Hobby Lobby or at AC Moore, Michaels, or Joann's. Uh, these are just like I said. This is just generic cardstock. Then I have my chipboard here and I used to cut up cereal boxes and just uh, different like different cardboard that would come in uh, like this one here was from a business label cards so this is all of my chipboard I have tons and tons of chipboard. Uh, this is my specialty paper here I have black specialty paper and then on top of it I have black just black generic cardstock. Like I said, this is just all generic cardstock. And then down below in here, these are all little uh, kits that I have of borders that I used to do years ago when I first was a scrapbooker. These are all different swaps that I used to participate in. So I have borders and um, little mini layouts and stuff like that for scrapbooking pages that I can use. And I don't really use them. I should really think about going through these and maybe donating these because I don't use them anymore because this is from when I was a beginner and I'm more advanced than this now. Um, then right next to this is where I hold all of my uh, mats for my uh, for my puzzles and I also have some extra ones in here for the Cricut as well. And here is just some more of the chipboard, but this is the like the chipboard tags, the close to my heart chipboards, the hearts, like just different miscellaneous chipboards. It's not just plain chipboard. And then this here is another big rack of unopened cardstock. These are all unopened cardstocks. So that's pretty much that there. And then when we go back here to my units. Okay, that top unit I just use for pictures, and then in this basket here is all of my uh, envelopes for my A2 size cards and my 5x7 cards. Then right here is all of my 8.5 by 11 papers, and as you can see I have them labeled by company. I have my Paper Tray Ink card socks right in here, I have Gina K, I have my Copic papers, my craft card stocks, and then these are just uh, a few more generic card stocks but they're eight and a half by eleven where the other ones were twelve by twelves and then down below here I have those cropper hopper holders but I have mine um, I guess on the side or they're not right side up they're on the side and I like them better this way and as you can see they've been really put to their use they are falling apart and they're tattered and worn but uh, they still hold my papers and they do their job. These are all papers by company. Believe it or not, everyone thinks that I'm insane that I do this, but in this one here, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is basil. So this is all of my basil paper right here. And then this one right here is my mind's eye. Then I have fancy pants. This one's Echo Park. Then I have color book, which is the Walmart where I get them from Walmart and there's so many of them so I have a lot of them and then over here is my bow bunny a lot of this is all my bow bunny and then I have coordinations right here and then if I move down this way this right here these these two right here this is all SEI and then all of this is all close to my heart these are all different kits that I have never even opened or used yet and they're all from close to my heart from when I used to be a consultant so I have tons of them. 
up above this, I have the, I have my, my paper trimmer, it's a small one. I have my little inks, my cat's eye inks, and then I have the punch board that everyone is talking about. And if there's anyone that needs to know how to work this or would like to see a tutorial on this, let me know and I will gladly do a tutorial on that for you. In this bin here is all of my stamps and little go-tos for Project Life. That's another adventure I will be starting soon. I have not ventured into Project Life yet, but this is all my Project Life uh, little stuff, little gadgets, and I call them gadgets, but it's little stamp sets and little journal cards and just little stuff I've been collecting. So that's what's in there. Um, and then if I come back down more, if I come down here in this drawer he layer here, I, um, I have embellishments, um, little tags and embellishments here, eyelets that I don't even use anymore, glitters, embossing powders. Down below, I have some twine and some ribbons that I don't have on spools, so they, that's where they go. And down below here is, uh, in this black case here, believe it or not, is all Creative Memories paper. Uh, yes, I used to be a Creative Memories consultant too, and that's going back like 10 years ago. So in there is all my Creative Memories paper. And these are all my paper stacks. I don't know if you can see them all, but I have tons of paper stacks aside from all the paper companies that I have up above. And then next to that, I have some of my finished albums. In that clear bin right there, that is going to be my Project Life bin. That's where all of my, um, my kits are going to go and my pages and everything once uh, as I'm working on them. And then in this little basket here, I just, there's this little miscellaneous stuff in there. I still have to organize that yet. Um, then right here on this shelf is all of my 6x6 uh, six six paper pads and my 4x6 uh, my paper pads. So there's more paper there. <laughs> and then above that I have my camera. I have some uh, miscellaneous stuff still in that white bin that has to get filed away. And, and I have to find a home for that. So right now that's its home. It's just... Uh, extra embellishments that I don't know where they're going yet. Um, and then if I go over to the side here more, I have all of my stickles are in this little green um, basket. This is where I keep all of my stickles. And inside these three things here, I have all of my masks and my templates. I'll show you what I'm talking about. These things here. I have tons of these. These are all of my like little templates in my mask, like I said, that I use when I'm doing uh, cards or mixed media. So I have a lot of that in there. And then I have my cupcake wrappers in this one. And then down below here is just some miscellaneous um, stickers and thickers, I should say. And then I have <laughs> this cute little uh, journaling um, book that I just did not too long ago in here for safekeeping. Over here is themed paper that I've had forever that you would get in those kits, you know, like Easter papers or yeah, stripes, patterns, they're all in here. And above this, I have my October afternoon buttons, which are all in here. I have my extra bottles of spray that I make homemade sprays and extra bottles in there. And at the tippy top, I just have some miscellaneous stuff. and. All the way at the top top I have just some pictures and you know just some things that I've made and gifts that have been sent to me by some friends so this is pretty much it this is how I store all my paper so it's nothing fancy it's just it's what works for me I'm in a very small room I don't have much room at all so I make the best of what I have um, and then over to the side there is my computer and my puzzles. It's a mess right now, unfortunately. But, um, and then over there is my wall where I keep all of my, it's my pegboard. I keep all of my, um, embellishments that I can't fit into a drawer hanging up there. So, I mean, that pretty much concludes my video for today. I will have one more last video to show you before I conclude this series. So I hope you've enjoyed it today and until next time, enjoy life's blessings. Bye-bye.